I wonder if we're going to get... Yeah, we are. The story so far. <laughs> Inspector Hastings versus the latest detective agency just to capture those greens take on the curious case for talking dog, obviously. I mean, just normal, so far, so normal. The hound will have to be put on hold. The inspector's case affects the entire country, and the clock is metaphorically ticking. Oh, it's, I've not said the story so far in such a long time. Uh, hey guys, it's Mendes here, playing some latest mystery journey, Catriel, Mr. Millionaire's Conspiracy. Uh, which is probably the longest title of any series that I've done so far. Uh, let's talk to this jogger over here. Hello, miss. Um, let me see. Oh, yes, that's right. Miss Layton. Inspector Hastings mentioned you. He, um... Oh, yes, here it is. You're assisting with our investigations, I see. So we're to share information and resources. Thank you, officer. That will be very helpful. Another on-the-ball detective, is it? Yes, this is DC Nick Booker. One of Inspector Hastings' men. Nick Booker. Nick Booker thrown into the profession, was he? Have you be so kind as to tell us what you've learned about the case so far? Well, we've just told, talked about the story so far, so let's talk about the case so far. Well, according to our inquiries, it seems there have been an outbreak of uh, metal theft in the capital recently. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty big piece of metal. Uh, metal being stolen from factories and warehouses. What on earth would I want to steal a piece of metal for? I mean, that's not particularly uncommon, as I understand. Some metals are valuable. This is this is the level that we're having to deal with right now. Some metals are valuable. <laughs> According to my notes here, the missing clock hand was made of a very oh a, a very valuable nameless metal. <laughs> Yeah, okay, alright. It, it is it is official. Uh, the hands of Big Ben are made of solid gold. That is the... Uh, I, just, I just love the hand-waving there. It's like, it's just just top-level hand-waving. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for your help, DC Booker. Now I mention it, madam. I'm just doing what it says here on my notebook. <laughs> Alright, that's another clue. A second piece of the mystery, as it were. I imagine this first case is going to be fairly short as a bit of an introductory case. Uh, metal thefts. So we've got Metal Thefts and Six Hour Window. Going to DC Booker, there has been... So th these seem to replace uh, the mysteries from the other latent games, as, as far as I can tell, uh, I have realised. According to DC Booker, there's been a recent spate of Metal Thefts in the capital. Certain types of scrap metal sell for considerably sum considerable sums of money. Cool. Cool. That is a thing that we have learned. Hooray. I aim for my videos to be educational as well as uh, um, ent entertaining. Yes. <laughs> hello, 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 Miss Lighton. Inspector Astings, as instructed as. Oh, I, I, I love all the. I love the way it's like um, portraying accent. It's great. Instructed us all to give you a full cooperation. Wonderful. So I don't need to explain. Could you tell us what you found out so far? I'll be glad to see you, miss. We have a certain that the nasty question, that being last night, there was no one here. That's great. <laughs> no one at all, not even a janitor or something. Correct, there is a room behind the large clock face known as the clock room. Not the cloak room, that's in a very different part of the building. Uh, however, this room was locked overnight. <gasps> it's a locked room mystery! Lock room mysteries are always the best mysteries. So is the clock tower always empty overnight? Except for much one going, yes. When the servicemen are in, they sometimes work late, apparently. But last night, the servicemen knocked off early, it seems. So there's no one around who might have seen the thief. Sorry not to have better news. So basically, your news is that there is no news. Okay, cool. Alright. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You're a, you're a really helpful guy. Alright, let's go have a look inside the clock tower. I do have a list of hint coins, so we're going to start using that and... Because, yeah, it's not as simple as three everywhere anymore. With, um, I mean, to be fair, some of the old late games have had sometimes randomly four in some places, so... Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I can, that way I can at least uh, not be tapping around like a madman. Uh, Inspector Eastings gave us instructions to cooperate fully with you, Miss Layton. Step right in! We'll all come in. Even my doggo. I must warn you, it's one long staircase when you get inside. I hope, hope your leg muscles are working. <laughs> Hooray! No elevators! Eh, elevators are overrated. 
Let's go! Wait, uh, let's, wait, uh, boot, boot icon? Boot icon? Yeah, boot icon! Let's go! <laughs> the housing of the great clock mechanism in the Elizabeth Tower. This is a ve so this is the second uh, latent franchise experience inside Big Ben, I think, because <laughs> Eternal Diva starts inside Big Ben, right? Uh, golly, uh, what a lot of stairs! My feet are killing me. Ernest Ha grieves Ha, you should be Ha ashamed of yourself for getting Ha tired out of so Ha easily. I probably I probably didn't quite voice out that right, but you know. <laughs> Yo, panting harder than he is. Oh look, it's spectacular! I've never seen the internals of the clock tower before. Magnificent! Being inside such a huge and imposing landmark like this is really splendid, isn't it? The clock face and the cogs are so enormous! Yes, it's quite exciting being allowed inside a place that's off-limit for, for most people. Alright, you two, get over yourselves. I just remembered something I forgot to mention before. Yay, more tutorial! Sometimes in investigating you come across something unexpected. Is this hidden puzzles? <laughs> unexpected, miss. As you're moving the magnifying glass around, you might notice a particular... Okay, yeah, this is... Uh, this is probably tap repeatedly for hidden puzzles. Even if the magnifying glass hasn't turned up... Oh, wait, so do I just, like, scan over a place? I don't need to tap? Look hard enough, your shots be rewarded. Okay. Okay, let's have a look around. Yeah, it's there. So I still need to just press a button. Okay. You discovered the Reddit wristwatch. Okay. It's a wristwatch that can connect to Reddit and post memes all day long. A collection box has been added to Catrail's bag. They can be using items. Okay, so yes, items is still a thing. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be for anything or if they're just random trinkets. I mean, late in games previously have kind of had a mix of the two, so... I'm going to assume they probably don't have any use, but, you know, it's, it is a collectible, and therefore... And therefore, it is something that we must naturally 100%. Let's get back to the task at hand. We need to search for hint coins. There's a service man. He's just been watching us, like, flailing around and, frankly, reaching into the machinery to take out a wristwatch, which I imagine is probably, probably a bit dangerous. What is this? I, uh, I've not looked at my guide yet, but I just kind of was tapping around, because I'm going to do a little bit of tapping around for hint coins without losing the guide, and, but uh, I found this. <laughs> Both hands present are correct on this face, at least. That would be a good puzzle, wouldn't it? I have a face, but I have no eyes, no ears, and no mouth. I do have hands, however. What am I? As it happens, though, there's a different puzzle here. Look, there is a different puzzle, and it's right here. Each, yeah, this is. <laughs> I am the personal assistant to the great detective, Miss Catriel Layton. So I ought to tackle a puzzle too from time to time. It's puzzle time. Puzzle number four. Houses are for Noi. Uh, this is gonna be a Tower of Noi puzzle, isn't it? New design of house allows you to arrange the tiles however you like. Just select the building to hoist off the topmost floor with a crane, plus move it to a plot of land. Make all the houses look as they appear on the plot. Yeah, this is a Tower of Hanoi kind of problem. Um. Oh, can I, I can only take one at a time, I assume. Yeah, okay. So topmost. See, annoyingly, with, with like Tower of Hanoi... Um, there's no, like, turn limit, is there? There is no turn limit. Because with Tower of Night, I just generally start moving stuff, and then eventually I'll realise it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that happening. Uh, I want Basically, I want to get that blue on top so that I can move all these back. I mean, we're doing it the kind of... Pro what's probably the slow way, but, I mean... Uh, it's going to work, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, this is this is going to work. It's just going to definitely, definitely, definitely not be optimal. <laughs> okay, one done. Do I need to... It doesn't matter where that where they are or where, where I go, where I put things, I assume. Uh, I need to move this red somewhere. I need to put that there, I think. So that I can do this and this and this. This, this, this and this. Does that work? Is that good enough for you? There's no, there's no way to fail that 
puzzle, so I'll take those 35 picker outs, but I don't, like, I don't feel like that performance particularly like deserves it. 27 moves is the score to beat. If you can do it, I will not be impressed because, like, like honestly, look at that. <laughs> Good work, pinstripes. You're climbing back some respect here. Well, thank you, Shell. Well, well, merely a personal citizen of Miss Layton, I do hope to prove myself useful in the puzzle solving department. That is the most important department in our whole um, in our whole operation here. I really don't remember saying I wanted a personal assistant. Oh dear, Miss, please don't reject me. Please notice me, Senpai. Uh, right, go on. Let's have a look at this guide then. Uh, so uh, I need to actually bring it up. We are in the clock room. So gold handle, gear in the top, gear in the top. Uh, I mean, this is still going to be fairly difficult to even find, apparently. Oh, was that it? Wait, I saw, I saw a thing. I saw a thing. There we go. And we got the gold handle there. So this one only has two on, um, which. I'm kind of glad that I got the guide now because um, otherwise I would be like literally tapping around for ages. The clock face is so vast, it's really rather strange seeing them from inside. But apart from the missing hand, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. So is that the one where the hand's missing? Because that doesn't seem to have a hand. Oh no, that does have a hand. That's got, that's got a hand at 10. So it is currently 5 to 10. Although that hour hand is on 10, it should probably be a little bit before 10. I'm, uh, you know what? I, oh no, it's 5 minutes after 10. You know what? Fair enough. It probably probably uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm, I'm being nitpicky. I am being nitpicky. Shall we just talk to this guy? Let's just talk to this guy. Your eyes. Are, you have some severe medical problem with your eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing inside? No one's in the public. It's all right. I'm from the latent detective agency. The police have given us permission to investigate here. You're a serviceman for the Great Clock, I take it. No, yes, I'm Hans. Hans Litsky. I. Of changes absent already. <laughs> if this is the missing hand, I've already said to police everything I know. Your people are drilling hole in my belly. I'm sorry to ask you to repeat yourself, but would you mind telling us what you have told the police, Miss Lipsky? Lipsky, can lips ski? <laughs> he can't help his name, Shell. There is nothing for telling. When hand went missing, I was already at my home. I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Ah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> you double negative. Uh, you went home early yesterday, I understand. The day before, I was working until after midnight fixing the clock. So yesterday, I got home early. Was there anything unusual about the hand that was taken? It wasn't loose or misaligned or anything. No, I fixed it only two days ago, like I tell you. When I put it back, I make sure it is good fixed on. Good fixed on. Very good fixed on. <laughs> so, uh, okay, fair enough, whatever. <laughs> so there's no chance the hand dropped off then. It slipped out of your hand, perhaps. Please already investigate everything in here around Clockface. But they find nothing, and they have gone now. Tell me, Mr. Lipsky, when did you notice that the hand was missing? Same time like everyone else. When I look out of window in the morning, I see missing hand. No, you don't see missing hand. That is the problem. So where you live is inside of the clock tower, and inside of the face with the missing hand. No, yes. I'm living close to here. I'm Chancellor Gosh, how extraordinary. The same street the agency is on. It's strange we didn't notice the hand was missing ourselves. Exactly, I'm sure I remember seeing it when I looked at the clock tower this morning. Because you were looking at a different face. It depends on where you are living. Hang on, there's a clear contradiction here. Like, can I... Can I Phoenix Wright style just press this statement? Because <laughs> you clearly said that you live in the same place, and yet you're saying that we were looking at it from a different... Like... I... I know. This, this doesn't... This doesn't follow. <laughs> I don't... I... I I'd, uh, you're a contradiction. No. Uh, okay. Wait. Have we already done this? We've already done this. Okay. What else do we have to do? Uh, so I guess I'm talking to you is probably not going to do anything else. You fix missing hand two days ago. You make sure it is good fixed on. Okay. That's everything from you. Uh, enormous cogwheels. Uh, oh, I need to investigate. Okay. I'm, I investigated. I found something. <laughs> the mechanism is vast as well, isn't it? And it keeps ticking despite being one hand down. It's looking at the three other faces showing the correct time. The people of London rely on Big Ben to know the time. Again. Is that the case? I mean, it's a great clock and all. Like, But I'm, I'm sure someone... 
someone in the country must have a watch. <laughs> and I mean, I know we just pulled a watch out of the, out of the tower. So is the tower like is is, it, is Big Ben like a magnet for wristwatches, and it's just pulled all the wristwatches in, and then and now suddenly no one's got wristwatches anymore? Is it? I feel like there's a there's a conspiracy going on here. There are no clues at all, apart from the three clues that we literally have. <laughs> I would expect to see some trace of the crime. It is a large object to make off with. We need more infos. Let's go back down to the ground. Okay. It's alright for you, but I'm taking my life in my paws, climbing down these stairs. <laughs> ah yes, with your short little legs. Get off. Now, now, sure, it's easier this way. Ernest will carry you down, won't you, Ernest? Yes, he will. That's that's what assistants do. <laughs> hey, what did you pull that face for? I haven't got fleas, you know. I didn't pull a face. Tread carefully, Ernest. All right, let's go. Let us go. So we want to go back all the way to... What are these? What 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 is this? Daily bonus? Fashion farthings? These are, these are terms? Once per day, you can obtain fashion for- Oh, great, so you guys will know when I'm doing a new recording then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, fashion farthings. Alright, you can use fashion farthings in the wardrobe section of Cat's Bag. This is some way of- some weird way of getting you to play a story-based game daily. Alright, sure. Be careful of changing your Nintendo console's system time, because you won't be able to obtain the daily bonus for a short while if you do. Oh look, anti-time travel mechanics. It's almost as if it's something they should have built into Animal Crossing. I'm just sorry, I'm still a little bit salty about that. <laughs> and we can find further fashion farthings from doing things. Okay, alright. So you want me to play daily? I got it. I'm definitely not going to be playing daily, but sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. And there is more machinery underneath us too. So, okay, let's take this opportunity. Let's take this opportunity for the rest of this episode. Let's have a look around, like, our... Uh, our interface here. So we got Cat's journal, uh, which obviously it's like Layton's journal. So yeah, we got missing clock hand, mental hammer tool, and yeah, every, basically everything story based that we do. We've got case files, which okay, those are the mysteries that we're salt that we're looking at here. Press A to view detail. Is that just the description we've already seen? Yes, that's the description we've already seen. Okay, uh, we can't, we're not collecting contradictions for some reason. We've got the puzzle index, which obviously, you know, we've already seen. Uh, daily puzzles. Okay, yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of tapping around the bonus screen before, and that, that came up in it. Uh, you can actually tell that I'm recording this on the on the 12th of April, 2020, when there are 176 daily puzzles out. <laughs> How exciting. Alright, the wardrobe. This is what I really want to look at. Uh, if you think it's time Catriel should put her current outfit in the wash, that's re that's really personal. <laughs> like, you just want to change her outfit? Fine. You think she should put it in the wash already? Like, that's 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 a little bit harsh. Uh, select change to have her put on something else from the wardrobe. Pick an outfit and then press the change button. You can have Cat give you a slow twirl. Only a slow twirl, not a fast twirl. We don't do fast twirls here. Uh, and he's better to get up more closely. The outfit is wearing, currently wearing as well as have with a label. Select exchange to buy new outfits. Okay. Heck, how exciting. And we've got four fashion farthings that we got from today. So, what do we have? We have... Oh, the, that. <laughs> we have that outfit, I guess. <laughs> and we have coat. We have with coat or without coat. I mean, with coat is better. And we also have that outfit. That's going to get some comments, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, what's available in the exchange? <laughs> uh, dating dress, tomboy equestrian ensemble, <laughs> cardinal cape coat, sky blue statement, retro refit, uh, monotone mini dress, ple pleated pleaser, denim daily. These are just like random... I don't know if they're meant to be references to anything. Cat's pajamas, sure. Let's just solve mysteries in our pajamas. That's the that's the detective-y way. <gasps> there we go. That's what we want. <laughs> right. These the, these three are the best ones. I, oh wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Shell can get Shell can get to uh, costumes too. Oh, I definitely want cutely cast classic Shell. Look at that. Look at those little glasses on the nose. Oh. 
Oh, that's really cool as well. Antonish. Anton Aurora. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. No, we're saving up. We're saving up for cute, Cutely Classic Shell. That is definitely the most important thing that we can possibly be doing with our time right now. <laughs> and we got a Reddit, Reddit, Reddit wristwatch. A usually coloured watch that takes some wearing. Uh, so there are 40 of these to find throughout the game. Alright, I got it. Alright, so th those are things we need to collect. Where's our hint coins? Hint coins, 18. We don't seem to have an icon for it, like the latent head on other games. But maybe that's just because it's not appeared yet. <sighs> what do we have setting wise? Okay, nothing important. All right. Well, this has been exciting. Let's uh, let's move first, just in case there's any dialogue, uh, and then if that is, if we just get back to Parliament Square Garden without any problems, then that's probably the end of the episode. Uh, let's do a bit of dialogue, I guess. There's Inspector Hastings. Look, even from this distance, I can see the furrows in his brows. Furrows in his brow. Press investigation is going very well, miss. Okay, that, that's all. That's all we get. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been an episode. We have found two whole more clues and done some investigation. I can't imagine this case is going to go on super much longer. Um, but yeah, next time we'll um, talk to this guy. He's looking at us so angrily. Why, dude? I was just doing what he was saying. I was just going and, like, investigating. Why are you so angry? He just looks really sneaky and suspicious. And that face is just gormless as hell. <laughs> See you guys!